All right, guys, this is Kaz at Chud Engineering. Uh, we've actually got a little bit of an opportunity. Um, Adam's here this week, so we're trying to get some content for you guys and some really good tips. This is a 67 Cummins engine. Uh, they're notorious for head gasket failure. Head gasket failure, there's, there's a whole lot of reasons for that. Uh, I'm not going to actually get into that today. But I can tell you this guy had head gasket failure. Now, the block's already been machined. It's actually going through a secondary cleaning process. Uh, before it's going to be assembled, so we're going to address what we're talking about here. Um, but there is a problem with this. Let me show you what the effects of running stop leak are in your engine. Many guys do not understand this. So come on in, Adam. I'm going to show you guys. There's a couple of things that are going on. Look at the back cylinder here. Now, most people would look over that and they wouldn't think a thing in the world about it. But the problem with it is, Adam, can I borrow your knife? Yes, sir. Everybody knows what a conductor is, and everybody knows what an insulator is, if you've ever done any kind of work with electrical, right? Insulator, obviously, it isolates. Think insulator is isolation. What we have here is an insul uh, basically an insulator. This film around these cylinder walls, look how nasty this crap is right here, okay? If I start peeling it off, you can see the end of the knife. That's not normal. The reason why, see this stuff that looks like raw clay? What that is, is that's actually a stop leak that's gone through that block. Now, people go, well, I use the red devil, the blue devil, the, you know, Satan's devil, whatever kind of devil you use. Let me tell you, it is, it is definitely going to cause you all kind of problems. It is a devil, because once it gets in your engine, um, it winds up stopping the leak, but it also becomes an insulator uh, and an isolator. So what I mean is, is that the heat properties coming off the cylinder wall as it's getting really, really hot, Coolant's coming past this. Now I have this layer of gunk. I mean, it's bad too. Really, really bad. So look at this back wall. I mean, I wish I could get it. Look at that. You see that? Yeah. The problem with it is, you said this is an expensive knife, by the way. But this is a really good knife. It's like 25 <laughs> bucks. You're good. And he's great at sharpening. Don't worry about that. But anyways, this uh, this film, what happens is, is it'll, uh, it'll cause the cylinders to actually run high if we don't get this all cleaned out really well. And that is all from stop leak. Quit running stop leak in your stinking vehicle, okay? It doesn't help you, it hurts you. It gunks up not just this, but the radiator too. All your your flues in the, in, the, uh, in the radiator itself, they get stopped up. It doesn't, what it does is it cuts down on the cooling capacity of your engine. It runs the cylinders hot, and it costs you a lot more money, and you wind up destroying things. You think you're fixing something, but quit, for crying out loud, please quit doing that, okay? It stops up your oil cooler, and it just wreaks out. Once you put that stuff in your engine, it's there. You can forget it. Trying to get that crap out is just a nightmare. You pretty well, you can try to flush it till you're blue in the face, but you'll never get it all out. Once you put this stuff in, it's done. But it's isolating the cylinders from being able to allow heat to be pulled out of that cylinder. If I took two pieces of metal here, and I wanted to have heat transfer from this, this piece of material to this piece of material, and I ended up taking something and sticking it between the two pieces, that heat dissipation rate is going to be greatly changed. It's going to make a world of difference. All I have to do is add that nasty gunk that you see in between the two, and now the heat dissipation rate is cut drastically. I mean by a tremendous amount with doing this. If you're going to install an engine and it's a new engine and you have been one of those little devils that have put this junk in your engine, don't run the same radiator. Don't run the same oil cooler. For heaven's sakes, please don't run the same oil cooler. Don't run the same um, heater core and the hoses and all the garbage that goes with it because all you're doing is overheating this thing and it can't cool properly and you're gonna call your engine builder and say, I don't know what's wrong, I don't know what happened. I'm trying to save you money, guys. I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm certainly trying to be helpful. So, don't do that anymore. Get rid of the devil in your engine. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hello, Scott.